Hey guys, so this is L here giving you a little weekend love. Weekend love. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go from the beginning, right? Uh, Aries. What's going on with my Aries? What's going on for Aries? Two cards for Aries. What's going on with Aries this weekend? It's good Saturday. Aries, what's going on for Aries? Queen of Swords, Will of Fortune. Some of you dealing with endings, new beginnings, maybe with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Big Sign, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. Some of you want the truth about what is going on here. Your timing. Like, I put too much time in this. Are you ending something? Are we beginning something? What are we doing? It's almost as if you're questioning someone. You're telling them your position and you're not moving from it. And you want to know where they are so you can be objective about this situation. And maybe uh, make plans in order that are best for you. Alright, so Taurus. Two cards for Taurus. Ooh, the tower. That's okay. Sometimes that tower has to come down. Maybe there's something being revealed. There's a challenge in a new project or a relationship uh, that just needs to come to a head. This is a problem, a challenge rather, um, that has historical value, meaning you've been here before. Like this is not new. Now it's almost like it's the, the tower here is the camel that broke. The straw that broke the camel's back. The camel that broke the straw's back. <laughs> the, of course, you know it's the other way around. Anyway, um, this is this is uh, this is too much. You have to deal with it. Um, you can no longer hide it. Whatever this situation uh, may be, it could be in regards to money. It could be in regards to debt being paid. Um, it could be in regards to, it's like someone saying, well, um, I can no longer allow this to be unequal, some inequality here. You have to be fair. Something about some man and woman in the home, justice here, says that uh, you're giving good advice also here. Or you got good advice about what to do. Um, I'm hearing somebody say, I'm going to pay you back. I'm, I'm going to pay this. I'm going to pay that. They don't do it. And, and you just have to kind of call them out on this. And it's just like, it's too much. It's way too much. I can't keep carrying you. Mm. Anyway. Okay. After Taurus is Gemini, right? All right. First card for Gemini. King of Wands. This could be my Gemini male coming up. This could be a uh, Cancer male or it could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, right? This is somebody after their own heart, their own desires. They, they do a lot. This is a busy man. This is normally a committed man. He has children. He acts as if he's not focused on them or focused on the family. He's more focused on himself. But he's focused on the family. He loves the family. Shows it in a very unique way. Okay. Um... Let's see. Car for Gemini. The world. So something may be coming to its its fullness. Um, it says job well done. Lesson learned. A maturity. Uh, one year cycle. A cycle. 21 year cycle. Something is closed. The universe is giving you the opportunity to walk away, Gemini. Uh, or or walk toward better betterment better chapter with a particular person place or thing we got our fixed signs here leo taurus aquarius and scorpio okay uh also something maybe you may be celebrating something in business if you are in business for yourself okay so let's keep moving so we got cancer two cards for cancer Okay, these just flipped over. Two of 
Pentacle, King of Swords. So this says decision, decision made for Cancer in regards to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone is contemplating. Uh, so this is a money matter too. This is decision. This is money matter. This is habitual. This is it's like someone is saying, okay, I'm weighing up two very real options um, surrounding money and material possessions. Surrounding someone's work ethic, someone something that someone does every single day, um, their habits. It uh, we have to get clear. We have to get objective. We have to um, be very stern. We have to confront this. Says the Cancer, or someone saying this about you. Uh, you may be juggling. Someone's juggling between school and home and work and child. Uh, there may be an aspect of help or, or someone who's helping you. King of Swords. Is typically Libra or Aquarius. It could be Gemini. This uh, you could be those with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This could be someone juggling between money too. You know, um, yeah. That's someone who's trying to be objective about a decision to make here. All right, Leo, Nine of Wands, okay, Five of Pentacles. So there could be an element of someone being away from, not with, uh, distance, uh, distance themselves by standing their ground because this, this situation here is troublesome. It's it's immersed in jealousy and craziness so leo or someone else has separated themselves from it whatever it may be it could be leo says i'm not having sex anymore um it cuts somebody off high and dry they don't see this this relationship turning into much more that they're at a place of either releasing or or, or trying to make it work. It looks like it might be a release here. There's lack of confidence here. Uh, so one can't seem to turn it around. Uh, this could be a love affair. All that is between us, says Leo, or other person is romance. Okay. All right. So after Leo is Virgo. All right. Two, two cards popped off of Virgo. Six of Wands, Matt, the Magician, nice. So Virgo has chosen to put themselves first. Um, they may be uh, getting a lot of recognition. They may have gotten a promotion, self-promotion, uh, done something for self, self-care, because they're trying to bring something or someone into the fold. The Virgo is trying to play their cards right so they can have victory in a particular situation. Virgo is trying to use everything that they have to be victorious uh, over a situation where they feel there's a sense of usefulness for them or that this person, place, or thing is useful in their life. The Virgo has found goodness in something in someone Aries Sagittarius Leo there could be even an element of someone practicing magic here to be victorious okay uh, let's keep going um, so after Virgo we have uh, why does my mind always go by? <laughs> Libra alright one card for Libra the Emperor nice and the page of wands all right so there could be libra something going on around your home your family your children some motherly energy i know the emperor is about father but the fours are about foundation stability and motherly energy so 
Um, you could be a mother. There could be a child coming to you asking for help or giving you a new development or coming to you eager. Or there is just a, a, a message that came to you of good news that may send you in a different direction. Um, you could be a business owner. You could be doing something for your child, for your children. You could be wanting to lay a very firm foundation here. Okay. Um, Scorpio. Right. Okay, two of swords. You have two minds about a particular person, place, or thing. Um, you're not sure. Your heart and your mind are divided. It says get under some spiritual awareness, practice, uh, mentorships. You know, could help you balance out the divide. Scorpio, the moon. You feel like there's an element of not knowing, something not knowing. You feel deeply about someone or something. It it could even be a mother. It could be motherly energy or the problems that you had with mother. You could be divided or someone is divided within their heart and their mind about you feeling like they need to make a decision in regards to um what you guys are doing every single day i'm here what is this you know maybe even title going to the next level you guys are very different but you want the same thing it's about learning to coexist and know that you the the end result is the same between the two of you scorpio you also could be repressing some feelings for uh, self delusion lying to yourself okay so that is where you are in, re in that regard um, it could even be about money too okay uh, let's keep going after Scorpio and Sagittarius two cards for Sag eight of cups and a three of swords Whew been seeing an energy for sad for a while someone may be at a place of wanting to walk away from maybe cancer pisces scorpio or cancer pisces scorpio has done this with the sag because there is or was a divide the sag or the cancer pisces scorpio aries sagittarius leo gemini libra aquarius there's something or someone else in the mist or in the mix the Sagittarius I'm feeling like Sagittarius is like I I don't care um you can divorce the situation you can separate from me I I can't care anymore I don't know why that is coming up the Sag could be listening to friends family neighbors um in regards to what is going on and, and finding a lot of solace and you know okay well this is what's happening okay so after it says we have Capricorn the strength card cap release the, the judgment forgive someone have the strength to move to merge with to um, engage also some of you govern yourself accordingly Tame the wild beast that is you or someone else. Um, and then we have three of wands because there is a expansion here. You can walk away from or you can allow someone to come back to you because there is still love likeness here. Um, you may even be family members is, is what I'm hearing. Have the strength to forgive, to reach out. Three of Wands talks about reaching out. You guys are separated. Uh, something about inward, uh, incoming communication. Or it could even be outgoing. You're separated from someone, okay? Uh, but have the strength to move it forward if that's what you want to do. 
and to forgive anything and everything that happened. I, I think it's forgivable. Okay, Aquarius. Wow, what fell out of the deck upright is the devil. Fears, being stifled, says that your life is changing either for the good or for the bad. Only you know. It says in whatever decision you make or choice you make, make sure you're not being too extravagant. Make sure that you're not going to lead yourself or this choice won't lead you to dead end. Feeling entrapped or closed in. Knowing that it can't go any further than being chained and bound. Be careful um, about an a, a oncoming choice. Seven of Swords. Ooh. You might have to plan in secret. Be careful about a relationship, a marriage, or some contractual agreement. How you are coming about or how you are coming off to everyone else is being very secretive and planning in secret. Uh, moving around, taking what you can, no roots here, no settlement. I don't know what that's about. Ugh. Okay. Um, last but not least, Pisces. Two cards for Pisces. Five of Cups. Someone is missing out. Missing. Looking back on what was, what wasn't, what is. Not understanding that if you just look at the situation differently, the change that happened still provides you with two cups of... Of, um, two more cups now this could be partnership it could be the fact that you still have two cups left but you are crying about wasted time wasted energy wasted love six of cups maybe about someone from the past someone you have children with you're still trying to appease a particular person yeah a particular person it says you're going to have to let that go. You're going to have to make peace with it. You're going to have to make the choice to either resolve it. You see that this person fits in your life. There's fitness here. Um, maybe it wasn't the healthiest relationship. But you feel like you can make it healthy again. This is an element of grief also. And remorse. And, uh, yeah, you feel like somebody's your soulmate, but they don't want anything to do with you right now. You may have to lean on your children, or you can't help your children. I don't know. Pisces, all right. So I'm going to pull shells for each. All 12 signs. Alright, Aries. Give me shells for Aries. Oh, two came out. Financial abundance. Oh, only one came out. Alright. That's really good. We got the Wheel of Fortune there also. Which, it looks like you've done a lot of work, Aries. Like you have gotten busy. Been very objective in your own business, in your own life. Financial abundance is here for you. Okay, Aries. All right, moving on to Taurus. All right, two, three came out. All right, hidden. There's an element of something being hidden also. Uh, we have change. Yeah, something needs to change because there's a lot of juggling. Hate. Ooh. Got this last time. Like some somebody wants to change. Somebody's hiding the fact that they hate. Maybe this is work too. They hate their job. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Who we have next? How do we go? Hey, I think I lost.
it was Taurus and then Gemini right this was this is Taurus Gemini okay I went that way sorry guys so we're gonna put those back so Taurus yeah the tower and justice the Tower and Justice. What can you tell Taurus for Tower and Justice? All right. Great body and mm, divorce. Ooh. All right. So maybe all of a sudden someone wants to. Justice sometimes talks about divorce going to a legal matter. Maybe someone's realizing that, you know, they're more concerned about themselves. Something can't be ignored any longer. All right, Gemini, something's coming to an end. Maybe we're going into a new cycle. Or maybe we're closing out cycles. We have father and gossip. Yeah. So maybe there's gossip surrounding maybe an ender, ending. Who's the father? Gossip. Of, oh, I just heard gossip. Of who's the father? Okay. And then Cancer, we have two of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Something about money here. Getting clear about money, weighing of options, um, juggling. Someone says that someone has to lay the gavel. Lies and career. Yeah. Something about somebody wants truth. There's some lies here about some element. Okay. Uh, about money. About what somebody's doing every single day. Something about that. Are you still juggling two people? Are you still in this love affair? Okay. All right. So then we have Leo. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the Five of Pentacles. Leo says, No more. Work, lack, and friends. That's what I'm saying. L Leo says, This talks about lack of confidence. Not, Leo says I'm not putting any more work into this. Maybe Leo is listening to friends. Maybe a friend is giving good advice. Okay. And then we have, after Leo, we have Virgo. Virgo's really good energy. Virgo's trying to bring their idea of what they want to happen. Bring it down. Heart and love. Nice. Virgo may be in love. Virgo wants to bring down that, that heart. Virgo getting a lot of love. Virgo also may be wanting to get a proposal, make a proposal. Love here. And their hearts their heart is tied to something. Some position, some person. Okay. So then we have Libra, the Emperor, the Page of Wands. All right, Libra, you got a few. Spiritual, mom, didn't I say motherly energy with the Emperor? Message and hate. Ooh. Okay, so you can get a, maybe you'll get a message that you'll hate um, from your mom, or you're the mom, you get a message from a kid that you're not going to too much like. Um, spiritual, something spiritual here. Spiritual connection. I'm here reflection. Alright. So then we have Scorpio. Two of swords about something or someone, Scorpio, or they're this about you. They're clothes. You think they're absolutely beautiful. Moving and stop. Okay. Um, you may dream about a particular person. I don't know. They may be close to you. Something says stop lying to either yourself, self-delusion here. Moving into maybe a better mental state. The two of swords and the moon talks about your mental state not being grounded. Like your mental is... This is really sensual cycles, phases, 
Like you gotta get grounded. Okay. Uh, Scorpio. Okay. All right. You. You don't think somebody thinks you're beautiful anymore? Yes, they do. They do. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. And then after Scorpio, we have Sahat. Blessing. Something is a maybe a blessing in disguise. Change. A blessed change. A ring. In marriage. Ooh. Maybe this is why someone felt like they need to walk away and separate, divorce. Maybe due to infidelity or someone's heart being divided because they walked away because there is no ring, there is no marriage. Maybe there's just a ring. The eights talk about cyclical. There's just a cycle here. Um, all right. And then Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, we got run leave magic somebody left you or ran and money somebody's trying to bring in more money someone's trying to advance themselves someone's trying to have the strength to release harsh judgments around themselves someone did leave and it kind of hurt a bit or it's, it's like open ended it's just like you don't know what happened here Okay. Um, okay. Aquarius, the devil, and the seven of swords. Why do I have so many in my hand? All right. So smart. Once again, about maybe a choice. Be smart about it. Thoughts. Your thoughts are, are telling you lazy. Um, and then we have jealousy. Ooh. Yeah, you might have to move in secrecy because somebody is jealous. You keep hell. Some of you, <laughs> you want to get out of a situation. Your life is changing either for the good or for the bad. Only you would know. Uh, it says that you have the power to, to make this what you want it to be. You feel like you're in hell. But somebody's jealous of you. That's crazy. You feel like you're in a... Like you keep waking up to the same thing. Like when is it over? When do I learn the lesson? When is the karmic lesson over? Can I... How can I escape this? Uh, okay. And Pisces. Pisces. Forgive. You want forgiveness? And you... Or you, um, you, someone, you want forgiveness or you need to forgive someone else. Home, mental issues, and heart. Maybe someone is a little bit off. You still love them. You still want their attention. You still want a home with someone. You still feel as if someone is your home. That, that they are your center. Explore the issues, the mental issues that you have surrounding that then directly correlate into emotional issues for you. It's going to be hard for you to do, but you need to do it. All right, guys. So this is a random weekend reading. I hope that it gave you a bit of clarity about your own situation. Um, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Um, we have the 30-minute phone readings on sale. We have the 72-hour energy reading. So if you want to know the energy around you for the next 72 hours, book that reading. You cannot ask questions with that reading, though. I just pull cards for love and romance, career and finance, and uh, I explain the cards to you, okay? So, but if you want a reading where you can ask questions, get me on the phone or book one of the 20 to 30 minute readings and you can send a list of questions okay all right take care guys all links are below bye